good morning some uh different vibes on the skiing stand this morning if you will we are beginning the process of purging the house uh last year i actually went through and purged a lot and we are here again uh, this time i am feeling slightly different because over the past weekend uh andrew and i have had to you know discuss a lot of things as far as living um on the property is concerned and what the housing looks like and you know we had this concept of doing um it's called a cob house but it's like an earthen you know build and it is going to take probably a very long time to build um my husband is very optimistic he could get it done very quick and I believe that he could because he would work like a dog to get it done. But, uh, you know, we're just coming to this place of reality. Reality has settled in on a couple of things. Um, and it's all good because I feel like, and I told him this, I said, I feel like it is honest to God. Um, just Holy Spirit saying, okay, think about this. Think about this. You know, think about, you know, some of the food options. Think about meat options and stuff like that. Um... I think part of asking God for wisdom is being willing to listen even when he's trying to offer you correction and trying to nudge you in a direction that's going to really cause you to stop and, and process and, and really work through some hard questions. Um, yeah, so there are some hard questions and there will be a lot of purging and it's bittersweet in a sense because... I went through a season where I really liked to shop, I guess. I mean, probably all females have some something that they like to do. I like to shop. And I really bought a lot of stuff in this mindset of we are moving into this house that we're building. Um, you know, and it was bigger than it should have been and it was grander than it should have been and and all those things and now we're almost having to stop and look at the flip of that and it's like no it's going to be vastly different than we thought it was going to be a year ago and you know I'm processing that I'm processing that I have had these for <laughs> over 10 years because I love all of these hobbit lord of the rings all of them and i'm like okay i've kept them for 10 years uh, uh probably longer than 10 years um 2012 so yeah uh and now i'm like okay they don't really make sense in this way of life that we're embracing so i really need to think about purging them you know i need to think about purging things that don't fit into that don't that don't have a, a practical you know place um and so yeah just some some interesting things happening today uh good things because like i said you have to be willing to let god prune you too and a lot of times things are a crutch and we don't even realize that and it's important that we allow god to prune that away because ultimately um at the end of the day in a movie, it was asked, you know, if your house caught on fire, what would you grab? Um, and I know for me personally, it would be to make sure that my husband was out and my kids are safe. Um, there are memories tied to things, but ultimately, they they are my home. You know, wherever wherever we are together is home. And if the stuff isn't there, the stuff isn't there. Um, and it's going to be okay, you know? It's all good. So, um, happy Monday, friends. <laughs>